Probably this your boy Mike Powers, Intro King, Voice of Hip Hop, in the building. You know what it is. Big French the Pragmatic right there. Yes. You know what I mean? DJ Baines is in the building and back for another episode, the one and only Wavy to God. Hey. Um, listen, let's jump right into this real quick. Um, the show on A&E, and it's about, it's called Secrets of Playboy. Right, and we're gonna talk about what was in that uh, special. Um, quite frankly, the title is a little bit deceptive because it says "Secrets of Playboy." This is really an expose about how dirty and wild and foul Hugh Hefner is, or was. Right. So let's start off at the beginning a little bit. I know Beans has watched it. I've watched it. Um, so Hugh Hefner, what you find out first of all. Uh, is getting the story's getting told first of all from a young girl's perspective talking about well she's older now but talking about when she was like 12 13 14 she lived inside the playboy mansion i think her father was friends with hugh hefner right and that's how she wound up living there and she saw she talked about all the things she would see like she would open doors and all these girls that were slightly older than her that was maybe like 19 20 21 22 she would they would be her girls and they would kick it and laugh and have fun and she would creep out in the middle of the night open the door and see these girls doing things that she could Wasn't never have six when she moved in there i believe so yeah right and but then they go to start the narrative about how kind of like mentally abusive and emotional blackmail that's at play when you inside the playboy mansion so watch this one of the things that happened because we're going to talk about this and we're going to get on to the the big thing i want to say the big thing beans so what happens is they say well i wanted to i wanted to run away and tell the media what had happened to me so watch this what happened was hugh hefner has cameras in every fucking room in the playboy mansion right it's not surprising, right? It's something that we probably hadn't thought about, but it's not altogether surprising. So cameras everywhere, and he invites everybody, right? If you a star, if you hot, you on the A list, you are getting into the Playboy Mansion, right? And journalists is getting into the Playboy Mansion. Executives, people that own these companies, on camera, talent from news agencies is in there. Right. So when the girl goes to these news agencies and go, I got this story. Y'all need to tell this story. They want to tell the story. It's hot. Oh, abuse at the Playboy Mansion. You have to. We got some. You have to say, hey, bro. You forget I got you on tape doing strange. Right. And the journalist is like, oh, shit. Ain't that shit? Yeah, nigga. Right. So all these years. Nobody could come out with no stories because you Hefner got the goods on everybody. He got the goods on everybody. Um, and then we'll get to another part, but I'm gonna get to the big part right now. Right? So it's it's a docu-series, multiple episodes. Then you finally get to this episode where this girl who's telling her story later, who was Hefner's girlfriend, who have had many all at the same time, he would trade them out. She want, didn't want to be with him, he just bring another one in off the bench, right? She walks in. And see Hugh Hefner fornicating with a canine. Oh hell no! He was giving it to a dog. He was giving it to a dog, and when she said, "What are you doing?" he said, "Dogs need love too." <laughs> Oh, it's face is everything. <laughs> then Linda Lovelace, the porn, because they used to drug people. You Hefner had five, six different people getting Quaalude prescriptions. Oh. And they would all give the pills to him. He had them at the nightstand. If you yeah, was in that, that house. Drawer that was locked. If you was in his house and you was a, a, a bunny and you was there after like eight o'clock at night, oh, you was getting Quaaludes in you. That's just what it was. Right. Well, and he had Linda Lovelace, the porn star. They had her drugged up, brought her into the house and made her give oral to a German shepherd. Oh, hell no. And they watched and they enjoyed it. If you was a girl and you lived there and you was one of his girlfriends, right? On, on To everybody else, it looks, oh, I'm his girlfriend. I'm in love with him. We, right. So this will happen every single night, French. Every single night, if you was a chick in there, 
<laughs> you was around that mansion. You was the bunny playmate. You was one of his girls. Every night, you had to fuck. You had to. So you was going to get this drugs. He, he would be dancing with you on the dance floor, right? And the whole party, all these stars would be here. And then he would, he would, he would say, okay, start rounding. He would whisper in her ear, start rounding them up for the orgy. Now, she was having a good time. She was in his arms. Finally, it's my man. And then that would fuck her head up because she would have to hear that every night. Now, hey, let's do the orgy. Boom. Then she got to go get a recruit. They all up in the bed. She come in the bedroom. Everybody quaaluded up, right? And you got to fuck, right? And and he's making them suck dick and do all, like, he's forcing women to be on other women and shit. Like, you know, initiating females to to kiss each other and stuff like that is a little bit easier but the way he was the Look, things he was putting the dudes through the playboy club which they had playboy clubs all across the united states right chicago new york all these playboy clubs right a classy place here's the rule the girls with the bunny ears and the bunny tail right you come in there you could be fucking eddie murphy whoever they didn't mean, mention eddie's name in here so i'm not slandering eddie but let's say you was eddie murphy on all his level you in the playboy club new york Oh, they you put can't, Bill Cosby you, up in there. Right. You can't touch those girls, right? You get thrown the fuck out. You get a, it's, it's, you get, you got a key card. With the, I for, forget what they call it, but you got the special pass. No, it was, it was like a key. It was the, it was the, the, the Playboy key, the key holders. If the key the holders pages. club. So, so, you, so you can't touch the girls, right? That was a rule. It's on paper. But when the girls left the Playboy club, it was just like any other strip club. They didn't give a fuck about them girls once they walked out that door. And then they was getting propositioned by dudes. Somebody going to get mad at me in the comment section. I'm going. Fuck it. So the girl says she leaves out of there with her sister. And they get in the car with Don Cornelius. Mm. Oh, man. And Don Cornelius, according to this girl, I'm not saying he did this, but according to her report, Takes these two sisters to this house. I don't know who all was in this house, but Don Cornelius certainly was there. Separated them out, put them in different rooms, tied them up. Gagged them. Anally raped them with wooden so objects. The other sister could hear it from the other fucking room. For hours. Y'all gotta watch it, but gotta watch when it. they ended that episode and they said, and all of a sudden, I think it was a German shepherd came in the room. And they fucking end the episode in the next joint when they said that shit like, yo... It, yo, Mike said some shit where the shit should be called surviving Hugh Hefner. And they had a thing, they had a thing called pig night, right? So they called all these, they, they had these guys, they called them pigs because they was just pigs, right? So they would, they would all, and they do a reenactment of some of this stuff in, in this, in this docuseries. You sit at the, you're sitting at the table with all these rich, powerful people with those other, so the playmates starstruck, who knows who's there, but just people that everybody in the world would know is at the table eating dinner one by one. They would get the girl. They would get the girl up and take her to the bathroom, and have a doctor inspect the chick to make sure she ain't had no diseases. And if she passed muster, then everybody would fuck the girl. Like that's what they was doing over there at the Playboy Mansion. And it's like you taking young girls, and I understand. It's like everybody got choices. You stayed there for years. Why did you do that? That's fine. Um, the the abuse part of it. Um, when you're a guy like you Hefner and you take somebody that's 19 years old and then you tell her, because what this is what you used to do. If you a player, fine. I don't got no problem with no player. I don't got no problem with no pimp. Right. But what he would do was, cause I'm certified, but I tell you the truth to your face. Any chick you ask him, I'm telling the truth, right? He would get the girl 19 and he would say, you everything. You're special. You're beautiful. I'm gonna do this for. You. I'm gonna do that. Blah, blah, blah. Now you're living in the house. You get arm around you. You oh, feel he special. Me out of all these women up in here. No, right. He picked me out of everybody, right? But then the 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 longer you're in that relationship, the more evil he becomes towards you, right? He then he he rents you out and start letting people use you, or he forces you. And all these guys was having anal sex with these girls so they wouldn't get them pregnant. They was anally raping them. You could hear girls in a mansion being like, no, I don't want to do that. And they was getting raped in the booty hole. All right. People, stars by stars. You know what I mean? And Hugh Hefner was allowing that to happen. So when the thing happened with Rick James, when 
I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. That part I will edit out. When you talk about Don Cornelius, Rick James got his own problem with crackheads and kidnapping. <laughs> we don't need to bring him into this. But it was there for four days or whatever. They finally they finally make a phone call, yo, yada, yada. So they send the people out from the Playboy Mansion to go pick up these sisters. They bring them back, and they just basically clean them off, clean them up, and put them back to work. No police report. No repercussions for Don Cornelius. Don Cornelius back in the Playboy Club the next weekend. Like, yeah, nothing literally a happened. whole episode called The Cleanup Crew. Yo. And The Cleanup Crew, when they would have the orgies, the cleanup crew job is to go into the room after everybody done fucked and nutted and pick up all the dildos and put them into buckets. Go ahead, Beans. Y'all gotta just go watch it. And stare, and they were sterilized. They were sterilized. All these dildos for the next round, and then he said, "Have had them in the headboard, right behind the headboard, like a compartment or some shit." So they would go have to pick up all these dildos, st st uh, sterilize them, sanitize them, and then this man puts these dildos back in you Hefner shit. So when it's time to go, that nigga just reach back here and start grabbing toys. When you hear that shit. Not to make light of it, but when you when you hear shit like that, it uh, <laughs> French. What? It get, no, I'm just saying because I'm thinking about you before. I, um, it kind of <laughs> gives it kind of gives a whole new meaning to the word soul train, is what. Because <laughs> <laughs> there were definitely some soul trains going off in that motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, it was a different kind of dance at the end. Okay, I'm gonna edit, edit, that, edit that out. I have no compassion. Nah, real shit. This thing is called Secrets of Playboy. How come it's not called Surviving Hugh Hefner? Because it was a series called Surviving R. Kelly. Where's Oprah? Where's Gail? Where the fuck y'all at? I'm just saying. With Bill Cosby and shit like that. Oprah, Gail, where the fuck y'all at right now? Right? Why is it don't called me, Secrets of Playboy? Why is it called Secrets of Playboy and not Surviving Hugh Hefner? Because Let's talk about the double can. standard. You don't want, you do not want me to speak on this, Easy. but them motherfuckers, they can't for their own reasons. There's much worse shit that goes on in this fucking industry. Much worse. And that's why they had to wait until he died. And that's why it says in the shit that the, the Hefner family is no longer, you know, associated with Playboy. Fucking, right. Right. So listen, that's the thing. So when that man was alive, these women could not come out because it was my first question. Like, why did they wait? And you find out. You find out. That's why you really got to watch it because the shit that we're talking about is that shit that, like, it's almost not that surprising. I think they killed one girl. One? I forget shit. Was it more? And then, and then the shit with the, the, the suicide? The suicide? So, look, Unfortunate right now, because we're going to come back on the other side of this and we're going to finish this conversation because I want to get French and Wavy involved in this. Um, but before we do that, we're going to go to a segment that we like to call Just a Tip with Big French. And now, and now, and now. Just, a just a Tip with Big French. Are you broke? Are you hungry? Or why don't you eat one of them big ass Balenciagas? Dumbass. All right, and that was just a tip with Big French. Now, we, next time, uh, let me get my lube. We so we talk about you, Hefner, and um, French. What you got for me on this? What's your thoughts about everything that you've heard so far? Um, I'll probably watch it eventually. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, you know, growing up, I was never really a Playboy fan like that. You like, know what I'm more of a you was more of a Jugs, Jugs, hustler. You know, Black uh, tail. Black tail, you know what I'm saying? He liked the see, smut. He liked the smut. Not, not just the smut. I want to see black women. Hey, what about the days? Dude, I don't think they do this no more. In the 90s, you could walk into a damn store, in a convenience store, buy some gum, and the porn was right there. Ah, right there. I'm looking at Habib like my nigga. In my community? Like, this is what you do with... <laughs> Like my nigga, it's out front, nigga. Right when you when you go to the counter to pay for your shit, right under you is porn. <laughs> Fuck is you doing, Habib? Wavy about the Playboy shit. You dead? Yo, that shit is nasty work, man. Like the fuck? <laughs> and I and like, like I don't think I was into Playboy as much. As, you know, I'm with French on that one, man. It's like 
you know, like when I grew up, the first the first porno magazine I seen was on what Black Tail, straight up, and it was owned by a blind guy. You know, that was the worst part. You know, it, like <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dead, I'm dead ass. Like my first porno shit that I encountered in my life was never, you know, what I'm saying it was never like, Playboy. You like, know, I'm a father to a little girl. Yeah, you know, and just to hear that women is getting done up like that, you taking advantage of women. It's like it's like you manipulating the, the the mind of the weak, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's trash, you know what I'm saying? Only weak men prey on 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 young females that don't have a sound mind for themselves. And if they weren't weak, he made them weak. Right, right, right. It's one thing. It's one thing to be player, player, pimp, pimp. But it's a whole other thing to take a girl and try to make her special, and then gradually get her involved deeper, deeper into your life to the point where then you start oh, abusing. Like, bro, like you're fucking a dog, bro, like. Yeah, man, yeah, they can have now, warts on. Now, now you on a whole different level than that. You now made you a woman suck off a dog. And then oh. you into some real bestiality shit. Like that—that that ain't some shit we into. Our people, we ain't—we ain't into that kind of shit. No, 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 not at all. We do not oh. want to. <laughs> now there was a guy, and I want to get this right because if it, if I can't find the evidence after this, this will get edited out. But there was a there was one. I hate to do this. But it was one brother. It was I want to. It was a few years ago that got caught uh, having relations with a horse. <laughs> Nasty ass bastard. You you get so much power, you get so much money, and you're doing so much wild shit already. You got all these women doing all of this crazy stuff, and you done made it to the limit, to the outer limits of sexuality. Like you did, you got dudes. Mess, you got you watching dudes banging your girl. You forcing girls to do stuff. You forcing penises and girls' assholes and shit like that. It's probably, before we get to the dog, it's probably a whole lot of pissing and boo-booing going on and stuff like that, right? So when you get, you done did everything. And you got all this money and power. Now you bored. You're like, yeah, fuck a dog. Why not? Like. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why, that, that's why Wavy said he was bored. But that's a different level of fucking oh, mental. That, that's, that's, that's bored, borderline crazy. Like, first of all. Not borderline. Yeah, that's that's crazy. crazy. If, if if you can even get sexually aroused by an animal, there's something fucking wrong with you. When YouTube says monetization, I'm gonna say no, right, for this video because they're not. It's no. It's no ad friendly shit going on. And we don't. We do not support animal porn or no, we don't. That's horrible. Uh, yeah. We don't support it at all, but we needed to bring this to light because if this was a brother, if this was R. Oh, Kelly man. that banged the dog. Oh man! Listen.